An arc is one of the most basic objects you can create, and there are quite a number of different methods you can use to create arcs. On the home ribbon, in the draw panel, expand the arc split button. Notice that you can see 11 different methods you can use to create an arc. The default method lets you create an arc by picking three points that the arc will pass through. But you can also create an arc by picking its start point, center point, and end point, by picking its start point, center point, and an included angle, by picking its start point, center, and the length of a chord, the start point, end point, and included angle, the start point, end point, and tangent direction, the start point, end point, and radius, the center point, start point, and end point, the center, start point, and included angle, the center, start point, and chord length, or you can draw an arc tangent to the last line or arc that you created. Note that with the exception of the continue option, each of these methods require you to select three points or two points and a value. Several use the same combinations, but change the order in which you pick points or specify the values. Also note that when you select one of these options from the split button, the method you choose floats to the top of the button and becomes the default method the next time you click the button in the ribbon. Cancel the command, then expand the split button again and choose the default three-point method. When you do, the command prompts you to specify the start point of the arc, but notice that there is also a center option. Choose the center option. Now the prompt changes. Click to specify the center point of the arc. As soon as you do, the program prompts you to specify the start point of the arc. Click to specify the start point. As soon as you do that, the prompt changes again. Now the program is prompting you to specify the end point of the arc. And by default, the arc is being drawn in a counterclockwise direction. But notice that the prompt also tells you that you can hold the control key to switch direction. When you press control, notice that the arc is now being drawn in a clockwise direction. As soon as you specify the end point of the arc, the arc is created and the command ends.